Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have 2 to the power of n plus 4 to the power of n plus 8 to the power of n equals to 39. And we will solve this problem for the real values of n. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first we will rewrite this equation as here we have 2 to the power of n plus we write this 4 as 2 squared and its whole power n and we write this 8 as 2 cubed and its whole power n and this whole equation equals to 39 and in the next step we will use here the nice uh, exponential law here and you know about this law if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of n to the power of m so it means that if you can interchange these two exponents then it cannot be affected our final answer and it is equals to a to the power of uh, m times of n so now we will uh, use this nice exponential law in the above term of the left hand side and you will get its output in the form of 2 to the power of n plus here we interchange these two exponents and you will get here 2 to the power of n and its whole squared plus here we again interchange these two exponents and you get 2 to the power of n and its whole cubed equals to 39 and now in the next step we will convert this nice exponential equation into the uh, cubic form so that here we can just take uh, y equals to 2 to the power of n so when you can put y equals 2 to the power of n then the above exponential equation will becomes y plus y squared plus y cubed equals to 39 so uh, here we will just uh, rearrange the terms and we will write its output in the form of uh, y cubed plus y squared plus y and we move this 39 in the left hand side and you get minus 39 and this whole equation equals to 0 so uh, now you will focus uh, on the term 39 and we will just break 39 and uh, uh, we can just write this 39 as uh, in this form y cubed plus y squared plus y and here you have 39 and we write it as minus 27 minus 12 and this whole equation equals to 0 because you will see here when you add to 27 and 12 then you will get here 39 so uh, now we will rearrange the terms and we come we make the pair of y cube with 27 and here you have a uh, y squared plus y and minus 12 and we write again this minus 12 as minus 9 minus 3 because minus 9 minus 3 equals to minus 12 and uh, now we again make the pairs uh, of the remaining terms and you get here y cubed and we write this 27 as 3 cubed and plus here we make the pair of y squared with minus 9 and you get y squared minus 3 squared because 3 squared equals to 9 and here we have y minus 3 equals to 0 so in the next step you will see here uh, we need uh, the two formulas in which the one is cubic and the other is square so now i can write here these formulas we have a cubed minus b cubed equals to a minus b times of a squared plus a b plus b squared and our other formula is a squared minus b squared equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we need these two formulas uh, which we can apply in the above term so now first i can use here the cubic formula so that the first factor will becomes in the form of y minus three times of y squared plus 3y plus 3 squared 
and plus here we have y squared minus 3 squared and it is equals to y minus 3 times of y plus 3 and plus here we have y minus 3 equal to 0 so uh, now we can uh, make the factors of all the terms and now you will see here we have um, y minus 3 be the common factor on each of the term so that after taking common y minus 3 we will get here y squared plus 3y plus 9 and here we take common y minus 3 and you get y plus 3 and here again you take common y minus 3 and you will get here only 1 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here we will just uh, uh, simplify the terms and you will get here y minus 3 times of y squared plus here we have 3y plus y equals to 4y and 9 plus 3 is 12 and 12 plus 1 is 13 and this whole equation equals to 0 so here we have uh, two cases the first case is uh, we will just take uh, y minus 3 equals to 0 and the other case is we take y squared plus 4y plus 13 equals to 0 so here we have these two cases uh, so in the first case you will get the value of y equals to 3 and we know that in the start of the problem we will take our y equals to 2 to the power of n so now we will back substitute the value of uh, our y so uh, after putting the value of uh, y here then you will obtain 2 to the power of n equals to 3 and now we will move this second case and now first I can check our second case have real roots or not by using the discriminant formula so that here we have a equals to 1 b equals to 4 and c equals to 13 and now we will check the roots of this equation or behavior of this equation by using the discriminant which is delta equals to b squared minus 4 times of ac so here we put all the values of a b and c and you will get its output in the form of uh, when you put b by 4 then you get 16 minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 13 and you get here 16 minus 13 4 is 52 and when you subtract these two values then you will get here minus 36 and you see here minus 36 is less than 0 so discriminant tells us that uh, if the value is less than 0 then we will just uh, say that it has no real roots and if it has no real roots then we will reject this case and if uh, uh, we reject this case then we will proceed here this case only and in this case we need to take the log on both of the sides in order to find the value of n uh, so that uh, after taking the log you will get here the output in this form and log of 3 so uh, here we can use the property of log and you will move this n in the front of this log and we get n times of log 2 equals to log 3 and here we move this log 2 in the right hand side and you will get here n equals to log 3 over log 2 so now here you will use the logarithmic table or uh, calculator in order to find the value of this uh, n or the value of log 3 and 2 so after using this uh, calculator you will easily find the value of n which is equals to 1.5849 so this is the our final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos